Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. Um, all right, oh, quick, oh, I was gonna, I was gonna show you guys my dried results. I don't know what I'm saying today, hold on. Before I show you guys the dried result of my last video with the amazing pendulum swing pour, um, quick, a few th quick things. Um, back in, I don't even know what month we're in, May. So back in April, <laughs> Back in April, I did a Loli Vefi collaboration kit. It was the Dutch Pour and More box where you got um, two 16 inch wood rounds, 20 Loli Vefi bottles, all kinds of stuff. I'll put the picture of it right here. As I speak of it, I will put the picture there. That way you get to see it. That kit was on sale for $80, plus you get an additional 10% off. Now it sold out quickly and it was out of stock and I am happy to report those of you who were asking and who were put on a wait list or whatever the list waiting thing was, it is now back in stock. So if you want to get the Dutch Pour and More kit on sale for $80 plus an extra 10% off using code Canela 10 it's back in stock. Head on over to the Loli Vefi website, code Canela 10 for your 10% discount Okay, limited supplies. So if you want to get the kit or get another one, because let's face it, you can never have enough lowly Vepi bottles because I have like over 150 of them behind me. So go on to the website. I will put the link in the description below and head on over, buy the kit um, and yeah, stock up before it goes out of stock again. All right. Um, don't forget, I am going to be hosting workshops here in my home studio in a couple of weeks. If you are interested in joining me here in London, Ontario, I've got three classes going. I've got a few spots left. Spots are super duper limited. So if you are interested in attending, it's May 27th. I have a morning class and then I have an afternoon class. And then on May 28th, I have another class. I'll be teaching regular Dutch pour. I'll be teaching uh, Saturday afternoon is a large canvas Dutch pour. And then on Sunday morning is the bloom technique. So if you are interested in attending and want information, email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com. Also, PourCon in Las Vegas is happening August 6th through 9th. If you are interested in more information and all the details and you want to come see me and 21 other YouTube artists in Las Vegas and have a good time, check out PourCon.com and you can find all the information there. Purchase your ticket. You get seven classes, lunch and learns, all kinds of stuff. So get all your information there. All right. Oh, let me show you. Let me show you the dried result of my pendulum swing. Look at that. So I've got so many more ideas up my sleeves. It's not even funny. Um, so I'm going to be doing a lot more of these. Uh, I'm going to be doing different colors of, you know, the in the cup. Uh, Cole is working on something special for me. I won't have it for a while, but... Um, I'm excited for upcoming uh, videos of what I'm going to be doing. But yeah, look how wicked it turned out. So now I've got to give it a coat of resin, which I'll probably do in the next day or so. And then hopefully in an upcoming video, maybe Sunday's video or next week, I will show you the dried results with resin. This thing is so cool. This is on a 16 by 20 inch and it is available for purchase if anyone is interested. Speaking of available for purchase, I released a video or will be releasing a video. I don't know when I'm gonna release it. I'll release it probably Friday, Thursday or Friday. You're watching this on Wednesday. Thursday or Friday, I will release a quick video and I may even actually put it at the end of this video now that I think about it. Maybe I'll do both. I don't know, I haven't figured it out yet, but. I have a handful of pieces left that are still sitting around in my studio that I want gone. So I have done a quick little video showcasing all the pieces I currently have available for purchase. 
They are 50% off, okay? Good time for you to get a piece at 50% off. So um, I'm probably gonna put it at the end of this video and then do like just a regular video, maybe Thursday or Friday. I don't know, I haven't figured it out, but stay tuned and keep your eyes peeled. And if you want something, 50% off, canalosoraco at gmail.com. All right, let's get started. Today, I'm working on a commission piece for a client and it's gonna be a two-parter because it's three canvases. And so this piece is a 12 by 36 inch canvas and my client wants golds and silvers and then it's gonna be on a white base and then part two is going to be two 14 by 14 inch canvases side by side, same colors, but on a black base. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how this trio turns out but I have to do it in two parts because obviously I cannot fit any more canvases in camera view. So it'll be a two-parter starting with part one today. All right. Now my base color is of course, titanium white by Amsterdam. All right. And the colors I'm using now, for those of you who have taken my classes, for those of you who have watched my videos all the time, you know how much I say, don't use all metallics when doing a white base. Black base, different story. Um, but my client wants certain colors. We've agreed on these colors and I'm going for it. And they're pretty much all metallic except for one. So this should be interesting to see how it works out. So we've got uh, Anti Copper by Folk Art. Then we have Pearl Space Gray by Arteza. Then 24 Karat Gold by Deco Art followed by the only non-metallic color, which is Titanium Buff Light by Amsterdam. Then I've got Silver by Arteza. Actually, I'm lying. I'm gonna swap that up. I, no, I'm not because I don't, okay, I'm gonna fill it. Um, I'm going to use Iridescent Silver by Pebeo. I love the Iridescent Silver by Pebeo, but it's empty, I gotta fill it up. So I'm gonna use Iridescent Silver by Pebeo, and then topping it off, I'm doing Rose Gold by Deco Art. So those are my colors. If you wanna know how I mix my paints with my Floetrol and water, you can check out video number 434. I will link it up here at the top for you guys to uh, see that video and get all the ratios and everything you need to do. Okay, I'm going to flood my canvas then I'm gonna fill up my bottle and then I'll be right back and we'll get started. everybody canvas is flooded bubbles have been popped with the torch so let's get started here so I'm gonna do um, my client wants me to do the composition that I've been working on recently which is the um, L-shaped you know outside of the box kind of thing so let's get that started now this is a much thinner canvas than what I'm normally used to working on I usually do you know, bigger than 12 inches. So let's see how this is gonna pan out. And I'm gonna be kind of light-handed with the antique copper because it does tend to take over. So deco art tends to do that a lot. So just keep that in mind, but, cause you guys all know I say that about 24 karat gold, right? All right, so there's the first line down. Now this is gonna be interesting because like I said, I'll, all, how many colors do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six colors and five out of the six are a metallic or an iridescent, which goes against what I normally teach and say, you know, I'd like, I'd like to be able to put a non-metallic color in between. Um, but like, I mean, we'll see what happens. Here's the 24 K and very thin line of that. Well, I just realized I haven't even plugged in my hair dryer yet. Ha! Huh. All right, titanium buff light, which I just filled earlier. 
get some of that water gooper out of there. All right, so this is the only non-metallic color. So we'll see how this pans out. It's going to be interesting to see when this is done, what it looks like on white, and then when I do the other two on a black base, what it's going to look like um, on black. So same colors, not changing anything, not changing the order, not doing anything, just changing the base color. So it'll be interesting to see how that pans out. All right, last color. Oh, I kind of should have filled this up too. She's getting low. A lot of my colors are getting low. Oh, I was gonna say nothing's coming out as I drip. All right, and I drip some more. But that's okay all right there's the colors and let me just erase these little speckles that I dropped here I guess this doesn't matter because I'm gonna blow that part anyway all right let me get my hair dryer yeah I'm not prepared totally not prepared all right plugged in Let's pop the bubbles. There's going to be a lot of shimmer in this, that's for sure. All right, let's do this. So I'm going to start, I think I'm going to start down here. Let's do that. Let's go. Wowzers. Wow. This is an interesting color palette. Okay, I hope this doesn't touch. I'll be very disappointed if it does, but it should stay put. Wow. I'm loving the rose gold. It looks so pretty. <laughs> this is so cool. This was a lot harder to do on um, a 12 by 36 inch canvas because... It, like I said, it's a lot smaller, so you got to be very careful how you blow it out. But I'm loving the space gray in here as well. Let me see. Is there anything I want to touch? I don't think there's anything I want to touch on this. It like blew out perfectly the way I wanted it to. <gasps> I like it a lot. I like it. Blow a little excess off there. Get the sides going. All right. Um, no, I'm not touching any of this. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to fix my edges and I will bring you guys in for a close up. Be right back. Alrighty, everybody. So don't forget to take your stick and you want to scrape all those drips. Scrape them all, do all four sides. Come back 10 minutes later to your painting. 
do it again for a second time and then a third time and then you should be good to to leave it all right so let's check out this close-up let's start from over here so I'm telling you when I turn the lights out and turn the flash on this thing is gonna glow <laughs> not literally glow but it's definitely gonna have a ton of shimmer to it look at the cells this is wicked I'm loving this and I cannot wait to see what these colors are gonna look like with a black base. So here it is with the white base. Now let's check it out with the flash on. All right, so I've got the flash on. Whoa, yep, she's gonna shimmer. She's definitely going to shimmer like crazy look at that little cluster there that's so pretty look at that let's go over here shall we no actually let's go down here my camera is changing colors on me if i go too close oh uh, look at that antique copper in there she's a pretty Oh, I love the space gray, though, too, by Arteza. Super pretty. Ooh, look at that. Look. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Make you guys dizzy. Definitely loving this. Look at that. Look at that cluster of antique copper. It's so pretty. All right. And there you have it, everybody. Um, I'd love to know what you guys think about this in the comments below. I'm going to take a picture of it, send it to my client. Hopefully she loves it. And like I said, this is just part one. So part two of this commissioned um, piece for my client will be in the next video where I will be doing two 14 by 14 inch canvases uh, using the exact same colors, but with a black base. So um, that's it. Don't forget to uh, email me if you're interested in classes here in London or if you want information for Vegas. It's in the description below the information and the website and then I will try and put pieces that are available for 50% off at the end of this video. So that is it for me for now. Until next time my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye. Hello everyone. All right, so today's quick little video is a uh, special that I'm doing for any paintings that I have still kicking around here in the studio that I want gone. So I'm just gonna go around the table real quick. This is what I've got available. Uh, everything is on sale, 50% um, off. Um, I'm sick of looking at it. I want it to go to a new home. So let's just start here. And I will put the video number in the bottom of each piece if there is a video to it. So this is a 20 by 20 inch canvas. This was the Melanie Ferris inspired piece that took me forever and ever to do. This is a 14 by 14 inch canvas, yellows on black. And then let me scooch my way over here. Um, don't mind the big bright light. I had to make it bright in here. Um, this piece is a 12 by 16 inch. Uh, let me see if I can show you guys a little close up here. So there's that. And then here again, we have another 14 by 14 inch, uh, stunning vibrant orange on black. And then over here, we have a 16 by 20 inch green and red with, there's a doggy here, here, whoop. Green and red with metallic gold, the 24 karat gold. I think, no, I don't know if it was 24 karat gold. It could have been Amsterdam gold, but either way, there's that. Then we have this. This is an 18, don't mind the glare. Uh, this is an 18 by 24 inch greens on a black and white split. 
18 by 24 inch. Over here, we have a three color color split base. That was from my color split base series. Uh, three shades of pink in the background. All right, so that is also an 18 by 24 inch. Then we have this little guy over here. Uh, this was a tester piece. I was doing a bunch of testing on it, so it's not perfect, as you can see here. Um, you know, so this one's going to be um, fairly cheap, I guess you could say. Um, it is a 12 by 12 inch canvas, and I believe this has TLP piggies in it as well. And there is no video to this one. This one I was just playing around with. And then finally, we have Mr. Saxophone over here. This is a 12 by 36 inch piece on a wood panel. It's not on canvas, it is on wood. And it is Mr. Saxophone Man with blobs. So that is what I have available right now. Um, that's on sale for like 50% off. So if you are interested in any of these pieces, at 50% off, now is your chance to grab one. Um, let me know the video number, send me an email, uh, canelaseraco at gmail.com. Let me know what piece you're interested in, the video number, and we will go from there, okay? So there you have it, canelaseraco at gmail.com. Bye.